which was next door. Of course, I only take pictures of my own cigars. These Florida Copan, those are mine. These Tiamo, those are mine. These Alonzo Menendez, those are mine. Oh, that's a, is that a digital camera or video camera? Digital oh. video. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can record me too when I'm talking and everything. Yeah. 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 You see, that's in this room. I mean, that's all paid inventory. Hey, I'm top. Yeah. These are the Oja de Nicaragua. Those are mine. Those are the Henry Clay that were featured that month. Those are mine. The Miami Sweets, those are mine. That's my book there. <laughs> it's the Miami Sweets there. And of course, all those backwoods are mine. And those little Alonzo Menendez cigarellos, those are mine. As were the Zippo flints that just flashed by there. And John Allen's had the dubious honor of being mentioned in the National Enquirer. They did a little write-up on a cigar that Victor was selling called Monica. When Monica Lewinsky and Mr. Clinton had their little go-to. Dubbed the Monica Cristo after the Cuban cigar brand Monte Cristo. It's a Philippine made smoke and it boasts a custom made band bearing Monica's face. And sales of the 499 Stogie are red hot at John Allen's Cigar Emporium in the Canadian town of Halifax. And this is my best customer in Halifax as well as my favorite customer in Halifax. Craig Sievert, who runs Sieverts on Barrington Street. And he's still there and they're very successful. They've been operating ever since the 1700s. Again, obviously, the pipes and cigars that I photograph are all mine. And all those blue boxes up there are all Brigham pipe tobacco. As is this, but this is Reiner, but I sold it. Of 
Craig also sells a lot of those mini cars and also a lot of souvenir stuff, plates and mugs and banners and flags and ships and all kinds of stuff. Obviously I didn't sell him that stuff. He does a great business from the cruise ships that come into town. Ganesh up to uh, Cape Breton. This is just heading on to the Canso Causeway going over to Cape Breton. Canadians hear something that isn't in the headlines about everyday life. Mm -hmm. And it's not always so different from rural maritime Canada. People have time for each other, people look out for each other, and that's something that the rest of the world doesn't know about us, and the rest of the world doesn't know about Africa. Now, certainly when, when people read works by maritime authors, uh, sometimes they get a, a very intense uh, local reflection, reflection of local life. When we hear the word Africa, I mean, it's, people talk of it as if it's one big place or something. I mean, there are so many cultures there, so many countries. What about some of the differences you're able to note between the, the different local cultures in Africa? It's mind-boggling. I mean, you take a country like Cameroon that is officially bilingual, like Canada, and on top of it. Hello. To be Alistair MacLeod, mm -hmm. uh, not only for uh, his, um, his great mischief, but also for his books of short stories. Uh, 